My name is Basira Khan. I'm many things. And my intention here today with my comments is to make friends, but we'll, we'll see, because I may not say things that everyone likes, and maybe I don't like, but today I'm going to say them. So my values. First of all, they are not universal. And second, I spend most of my time really trying hard to find out who I am. And every time I get further away from that answer, but one day I can truly say I am American and I am Muslima. My values come to me by way of my personal politics, my lived experience, and in no way do I ever want to impose my order onto you. I have a real struggle, and I understand that each one of us in this room do as well. I fear exclusion, but I also fear inclusion and the envy that both of those breed. So here and here on out, I continue to step lightly on this earth. I think of strangers as though they are my own blood. I care for pedagogy, and I believe the only way to take back what we built in this country is to dedicate ourselves to training and sharing knowledge with youth. We owe this to our First Nation families. I love my students. They are my heart, even when they step into class late. I love my family, even though they expect me to wear a hijab and move back to Denton, Texas, and live a quiet Muslim South Asian normative life and work at Dillard's, because that apparently is creative too. That life, it includes lovely things. But also, it comes with male-driven patriarchy and nationalistic class and color prejudice, which is unacceptable for the future of us. This I firmly believe. I continue to love my friends and will make space for you and listen to you. I will continue to love my lovers. And I love my enemies, whoever you are. I ask those of you who think you are open to Muslims, to Islam, to African and Asian black and brown heritage to seek therapy. Do some psychological homework. Most people that proclaim support are passive and use mantras and affirmations to feel a part of the future. And this was important at one time, but now I ask, please start your openness by really looking into yourself. What kinds of work are you drawn to? What are you programming? Who are you teaching? Who are you working with and letting into your inner sanctum. Don't use the word intersectional. Be intersectional. Who is you? Are you ready to fight for my comfort? That is how open I need you to be. I need you to let go of some of your historical comfort the comfort that was stolen and pillaged from my Asian mother and my African ancestry. They are all traumatized. We are all traumatized. The oppressed and the oppressor. We all need to seek therapy to not repeat, to not indulge in our pain, which in my opinion has very clearly led to our majority Senate which has also clearly led to our current administration. I vow to never utter his name. I vow to never post his image. We need to ghost our administration until it's over. I'll leave you with something I've never shared with any of my art folks and I've rarely shared with my friends. It's a prayer. 
and it was taught to me with the best intentions by my mom. It's called Al-Fatiha, and it's the way you start your prayer five times a day, which I don't do. I'm human. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Rahim, Maliki Yomadeen, Iyya Kanabadu wa Iyya Kanasta'een. Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqeem, Sirat al-Lazina, Anamta alayhim, Ghayr al-Makhdubi alayhim, Walad Da'aleen. Amin. Hit me up for a feminist translation because I'm telling you now the traditional translations don't reflect all that they could be. I'm easy to find and thank you so much.